Happening today, a Florida Senate committee will consider a new bill impacting short term vacation rental properties. This is an issue that is going to have a big impact on our Bay Area beach towns. It's gotten a lot of talk, of course. Absolutely. It's Senate Bill 280 and it's already getting pushed back. Want to get right out to ABC Action News reporter Keely McCormick. She's live this morning in Indian Rocks Beach. And Keely, you spoke with city leaders there. They don't want this. So explain what the problem is here. Dia, that's right. Well, Indian Rocks Beach leaders sent this letter up to state senators that are on that committee taking up the bill today. I spoke to the mayor here. She says they want to make it clear they do not support this bill, saying it takes away power from city government. We saw the bill and we're just aghast that, you know, this bill would be being brought up after the conversations that we had. And it really is, it's, it's, it affects local governance and, and that's I don't know why this continues to happen. The conversation around regulating short term rentals is nothing new in Pinellas County Beach communities. That's why a new Senate bill introduced by a state senator from Pinellas County is causing frustrations for Indian Rocks Beach Mayor Joanne Kennedy. We came up with a, in our opinion, a great piece of legislation. Uh, we have been implementing it now and if this bill is passed, all of that goes away. All the work that we did at the local level. Just last summer, the city of Indian Rocks Beach created a new ordinance with rules for rental owners and occupants to follow. Kennedy says Senate Bill 280 takes the power to regulate rentals away from the city and gives it to the state. Some other concerns she mentioned, the bill only allows local jurisdictions 15 days to review and approve a registration application. And the proposed statute puts $150 limit on rental registration. Mayor Kennedy tells me the city agrees that registration costs should correlate with the cost of the administration, but says these limitations negatively impact the ability of the city to fund and manage short term rental registration programs. Many of the elected officials throughout uh, Pinellas County believe that we already have the tools and this is going to take our authority away from us to be able to regulate inspect uh, short term rentals. Mayor Kennedy explained that each beach town is different. Therefore, they will need different rules for vacation rentals. State Senator Nick DeSigley filed the bill. I reached out to him but have not yet heard back. And a Florida Senate committee will consider this bill today. You can read more about Senate Bill 280 and its companion bill in the House on our website. That's at abcactionnews.com. Reporting live from the city of Indian Rocks Beach, Keely McCormick, ABC Action News.